Okay, look, I'm sorry for not getting back to this ASAP. I just had a lot going on. And, well, I'd rather not talk about it. It's just a lot of emotional stuff. Um, Oh, I guess I should be speaking. <clears throat> I've always wanted, I've always wanted more. I always want more. So I'll never be satisfied with the present. I'm always searching for something greater. No matter how much fun we're having now, a day will come when we have to say goodbye. Because I am who I am. The place I want to be is always just a little further ahead. So goodbyes are a part of me. I've always felt that way. But you know, Abby Sam, I never thought I'd get to be on the boat with you again. Especially on a trip you plan yourself. You, like, never go anywhere. You were such a coward, always struggling and falling down. But I met you again, far away from where we last met. Maybe it's the same for everyone else too. The ones I fought with and the ones and the ones eh the ones I fought with and lost or were too different for me? Maybe I'll meet them again on the way to my future. Hey, so like it's possible that this trip will end up being way cooler than I ever would have thought. Mine. Are you ready to go above and beyond? 
<laughs> There's no way we'd be able to catch up to that. We're so confident to take a big hit. I need to recharge. There's no sating in their appetite for competition. We really brought in some crazies this time. <laughs> payback! Payback! <laughs> My drums with the with the heat of a thousand suns! <laughs> My desire accessories of silver are within reach. Hear the roar of my abhorrent melody! Well, look how the truth comes out. And the game crashed. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. Well, look how the truth comes out. <laughs> Your greed is as eternal as my dear Ron! Are you saying that all the gold in my palace is not enough? You would take it all and still demand more? I like it! I love it! How wonderful my treasures! This is why I love to invite you to my palace! My generosity is being tested, but even your struggles, I will. Very well then, I'll see this through to the end. Let's see which of us desires the treasure more. If I win, all my all of my plunder treasures will become yours. If I win. Oh, oops, sorry, read that wrong. <laughs> if you win, all of my plunder treasures will become yours. If I win. So we can take as much as we want? For real? Okay, we've got his word! Now we just have to win! Oh, jeez, things are getting intense. It's just like when our old ship was sunk. Hey, Dangly, take Aita and Makar and get back to the ship. If anything happens, we need you to help from there. <laughs> gotcha. We'll head back to Captain Ahab's ship for now. Then. <laughs> don't, don't worry. What? We'll have your bag from even from on board. Yeah, we'll take care of the ship. Don't go get yourself beaten before we have a chance to step in, yeah? Ha! <laughs> As if we would! Just do your jobs and leave it to us! Behold this astonishing occurrence on the high seas! Aegir is once again transforming into a giant! Fine by me! At least he's taking it seriously! Let's take him down! Careful of his daughters, though! My dearest Ron, lend me your powers of your pillaging rule. Seawater <laughs> <laughs> scroll. <laughs> What's more around here? He's a giant again! I won't hold back this time. I'll sink you all along with your little ship. Great Sea of Ron, cast your jealousy upon them. Fishy! <clears throat> Not happening! Big things are my specialty, you know! Feast your eyes on my giant form, stretching to the farthest heights of Olympus! <laughs> Be careful, Typhon! You? Not bad. Not bad. Nice one, Typhon. Now, knock him down! You fools. My might is not to be underestimated. Behold! The right hook that plundered the wealth of Yggdrasil. Aegir, punch! No! What was that for? 
for? Rude! What are you doing, Typhon? If you don't take this seriously, we'll all become fish food! Uh, sorry! That anger guy must be really used to fight! But of course! This mantle is no mere seawater, but the memories and lives of my strongest seafaring treasures! All of their memories of fighting, all of their battle skills, live on within me. Now then, show me what you've got! Hey! I didn't sign up for this! Uh, sign up to face this alone! Somebody help me out here! Don't be stupid! Who else can get big and like... Brandon, watch out! Oh, crap! He's gonna grab me! <laughs> Ugh, damn! Come this way, and wear these disgusting bindings. <laughs> My hero. I need no word words of thanks. After all, you once saved. <clears throat> you pr you protected me. What? Captain, the waves! It's like seawater is being sucked in! The brother won't listen to me, huh? It's not Ager sucking the water in! Ah, look lively! The tides be a-changing! Uh-oh. Wait, it's not his body. His bindings are sucking in the ocean! That's what his rule does? I thought it just see I just I thought it just binds you. He's looking hella vicious right now! Like, what is even going on?! How are the rest of us supposed to compete in the showdown of giants?! I'm gonna fall! Mayday! Mayday! Is this how it ends? Oh, save you! Divine Lifeboat! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Lakar. My hero. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. I'm so glad you didn't grow. Glad you're okay, Brandon. <laughs> glad you're okay, Brandon. No time to be slacking off. The air up there must be getting to Fenrir's head. <sighs> what a time without to not have John Pavon with us. You presume to consume both me and Ron's ocean, child of Loki. Anger's gotten smaller. We're gonna attack. Now's the time. Nice 
nice job, you two. Just like keep. <laughs> he can't even be stopped when it's two on one. This guy's a menace. Hurry and stop him, otherwise. <laughs> Sorry, but you're too late. I will end this farce once and for all. Behold the culmination of my collection of living memories! See if you can withstand it! Fishy feast! Overtaken by the waves! Ah! Ah! No! Brace for impact, everyone! You're becoming a big one! Listen, listen, do you hear? Riding on the waves? Sleeping, sleeping far away in this eternal maze. Wait, <clears throat> waken, waken, valiant savior, and unfurl your sails. Everyone, is this my life flashing before my eyes? I never understood why I had the right to be with everyone. For all, I have no confidence, and I fail at everything I try. I'm no good at anything. I had hoped that coming on this voyage would help me see myself the same as everyone else, but in the end, I never found the answer I was looking for. Now, though, I've gotten past it. I've got I've gotten to do what I wanted to do to on this boat. It's different from back on my own treasure ship. This time, I'm here for myself. I'm still afraid of failure. But now I know I'm not alone. Everyone will be there to help me. And I and I want to help them too. If my role is to give blessings, then I should be able to. Oh, now I realize they were there all along, surrounding me, supporting me. You get it now? Do you get it now? They've been waiting for you to say that. Huh? Benton? Is that you? Knew you'd cause us some. Um... When we let you on the ship, back, we were all so distant, each other, and, but somehow, we started to get closer. We, friends who, the seas together, there times when we disagreed but now water under the bridge so you trust for the sake of time your own volition so hoist sails show that show that boat which will Your dreams, Your dreams are always, always just one step, step ahead, ahead of you. Ahead of you.
Boats are for sailing the seas. Why are you going beyond? If you and me can accept the role, then the memories of the ship will always be with you. A boat cannot be sailed alone. However, However, if you invent him, invent him. <laughs> yes, that's right. They've always been there. Sacred artifacts hold the memories of days gone by. That means I have seven different memories cheering me on. I'm not doing seven different voices. They've always been telling me to do my best. I've just been covering my ears, so I'd never heard them. They've always been there in front of me. I was just so busy looking back that I never saw them. Thank you. All of you. I am Ebisu, the fisherman of the seven lucky gods, and blessings are mine to bestow. I'll protect you all! Tidal waves are my expertise! Type 5? Thanks! You like protected us, didn't you? <laughs> At least we're okay, but what about everyone else? Where's Ahab's ship? No way! The waves have died down, but nothing's floating to the surface! Does that mean... <laughs> no boat is safe from my sacred artifact? This can't be! You're telling me they're all drowning in the ocean right now? Wait up! Up there! Look up! Up? What's up? Huh? What the? <laughs> There's a ship floating in the air. Hey, you're seeing this too, right? What? That's impossible. Isn't that the treasure ship? What's it doing up there? Treasure ship? You mean the boat you and Epi Suit rode back in your home world? Uh, who cares about that? What I want to know is why is there any, why there's a boat, any boat floating in the air? Um, this is Captain Ahab's ship, right? Whoa, what a view. Hey, glad you're all okay. <laughs> what in all hell be going on? This here ain't me boat. Or, I guess the insider, or I guess the insider be, me, be my boat. But there'd be another boat covering her on the outside. And this is the sacred artifact I received from the other lucky gods. These sublimation sails are one-seventh of the, the boat itself. Any boat carrying these sails become the treasure ship. With the wind in its sails, it soars through the air, crossing any ocean. But, but, why now? I haven't been able to summon these sails a single time since I inherited them. <laughs> wow well, now, a ship flying through the air. It looks exactly like the one I saw in my dream. Wait, that's the thing you were talking about, Papa? It doesn't look all that golden and shiny to me, though. Ah, now I see, Ron. Must have consumed the memories of someone who had seen a golden ship. And this feeling, it must be disappointment. It's always the same. As soon as the treasure settles into my grasp, it loses its luster. As soon as I clasp my hands around the dream, I awake. Reality is always disappointing. Seen with my waking eyes, the golden ship from my dreams is nothing but a grubby little boat. I see its wooden hull through its golden glamour, battered and broken from, the, from its endless voyage. Its shine is superficial, incomplete. It is nowhere near the eternal radiance I desire. <laughs> you're wrong. Hey, here. You're wrong, hey, here. It's because dreams are incomplete that we keep moving forward. 
the treasure ship appears like this to mark its pursuit of, of never-ending dreams. Failures and past wounds make us grow. These scratches and dents are no mark of shame. They're its crew. They're its crew's battle scars. We wear them with pride. That's right, isn't it? I'm sorry I took so long to realize. I really am an idiot. <laughs> Such strength! Your boat may shine, but you shine even brighter. Never do you fail to surprise me with your luster. You all really do belong in my palace. Show me this eternity you claim. Otherwise, let my ocean swallow you whole. Fight me, Aegir. We'll have one final battle. Uh, uh, hey, uh, don't forget us. If this giant thinks we'll roll over and die. He's got another thing coming. <laughs> we can still fight from down here. Not gonna happen. We're not 100%, but there's no way we're letting you get in Papa's way. certainly get points for persistence. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do much from down here. Emisu, Brandon, you want to finish off Anchor for us? <laughs> Leave it to us. We'll land the finishing blow. <laughs> Let's do this. This is the final battle. I'm going to get that treasure and return home with everyone to, to, to Tokyo.
キャミクだけラーンの海よその臨機を編み打つがいい解体直後さあ胸を打ったぞ<笑>嘘つき目が守る風になるでいくなっだったなっだったなっだったなっだったなっだったなっだったキャミクダキスハウネを撃ったぞ<笑>もうやったいけいprobably in episode 7, you know, have an epilogue. <laughs> you know, that banquet was terrible anyway. What was so bad about it, you ask? It wasn't knowing that the world was coming to an end. It was knowing that the end of the world was just the beginning of the next. It was learning that it was all a routine. Destruction for the sake of creation. Creation for the sake of destruction. Upon this axis, the world turns. This great flood of time washes away even memory. And only the pillars standing tall against the deluge remained to tell of what once was 
Everything is no more than future garbage. And so, I... I... <laughs> you think this is all a joke? I'm growing bored of this pointless repetition. What's the point of repeating the same things? Striving for the same things and failing time and time again? Am I to believe that everything we plunder is fated to slip from our grasp? Ridiculous! What meaning could there be in such futile repetition? If there is none, then we shall create it! We shall take for our own treasure that will be the envy of all, a treasure whose eternal, immutable luster will outlast even the end of the world! We wanted something that could never be destroyed. An eternity that would never change. He was repetition. What is it? Anybody get what he's saying? <laughs> Don't ask me! <laughs> he's using all these big words. I'm so lost. <sighs> Dest uh, destroyed? Worlds? I don't know why, but something about what he's saying is ringing a bell. Wanting the same things and failing time and time again? Oh, you mean like going on about individuality but actually being a sheep? Or impulse by buying useless crap and ending up broke? We're all hipsters dressing like the exact same? We're buying more stuff even though it's just going to end up in the earth in the trash? Don't be an idiot! How many times have I heard people say not to do those things? And I'm done I'm so done with lecturing. Um Benton? <laughs> he broke Benton. I'm not broken, Brandon! <laughs> oh, okay. Let me just say one thing in response, because I've lived that way my whole life. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Yeah! Preach it, girl! Rawr! Let loose the amps! Crank the volume! Seize the limelight and pro proclaim your ambition to take to the skies! Rawr! Shake the waves, my drum roll! Can you hear me, Anger? Well, I'm gonna say it anyway! Yeah, I just keep making the same kind of mistakes all the time! I'm sure it seems like, seems to others like I'm just throwing away time and money! I'm wrong, though! I'm not in the same place before spending it as I am after! What are they planning? Is she just gonna talk into the mic, or is she gonna sing again? <laughs> Benton at the helm. This battle's going, going. Yeah. This battle's gonna be going places, and probably not good ones. Everyone, be careful. Those failures were all important steps for me to take. They all, they'll pave the way for my future. Maybe it seems like I haven't changed, haven't achieved anything. But someday, I'll give all of those repetitions and pointless actions meaning. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Good uh, for you. <laughs> okay, but what about anger? Those are some crazy words you're spouting, little lady. Could you still find so so much meaning in those actions if you could not even remember them? Yes, I can say that with confidence. Why? Because there's meaning in the fun I had. You, on the other hand, you smile a lot and you talk big about eternity, but you don't seem like you're enjoying yourself at all. Are you? Are you, Ager? <laughs> you certainly don't mix words. 
do you, my ambitious aquamarine? I like you had a point. I don't think it worked. But we took the long. I feel like we took the long way around. More importantly, I have one more thing I want to say to you, Agar. Treasure only has meaning if you use it. What's the point of it? What's the point of just letting it run away in your palace? Oh my god. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I wish I could rub that in. I wish I could rub that in Monster Hunter players' faces. And certain other gamers' faces. Because they, because they sit there going, this is like, this item's useless. Like, there's no point in it. Like, it's just, like, you're not supposed to use it. It's supposed for, it's just for show. And it's like, well, what's the point of even getting it in the first place? Even if I spend it on useless or extravagant things, at least I'm not sta not just standing still. That way, someday I'll shine even brighter than before. <laughs> Very well then, show me. Show me this radiance that transcends eternity. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. To the victor and the spoils. Oh, rule of mine, now is the time. Unveil the horde Ron and I have collected in all its glory. Didn't you? That was a promise! Yeah. <laughs> In all me voyages, I can never get enough coin. You've stoked this old captain's interest. <laughs> I heard. I'm bringing back all that gold. Yeah. Is that all you've got? Is this the limit of your luster? If that's the case, you are quite far from the eternity gathered in this ocean. No! I'm going under! Ifrit, no! Don't die! I mean, you won't die, but still! Uh, uh, pierce the ocean, peerless triad! Uh, woven monstrosity! <laughs> As if you could halt the rage of the seas with your puny attacks. You underestimate the giant king of the ocean. Crap, our attacks aren't gonna work. There's gotta be some other way. That giant body of his is ma mostly made up of ocean, right? Hager's just controlling you. What if we targeted him instead? His real form should be floating somewhere in there. Aita. Your sacred artifact's rule allows you to pierce the ocean, right? How about you try aiming for his real body? Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, sure. But his giant arms and legs are in the way, and... Wait, where's his real body anyway? Hmm. His reach be to ours as a whale be to you. If we were, if we were, if we get too close, we might get capsized. How about I tell how about I tell ye ins and outs of fighting with a giant? First, you gotta get him to stop being so cautious. Ager's guarding his treasure. Emisu! Grab the treasure from the ocean! We gotta distract Ager! <laughs> you got it! I'll put all I'll put all I'll put my all into getting that treasure. Ancient treasure at the depths of the sea? Show me your whereabouts! Bountiful returns! Hook, line, and sinker! What are you doing with that sacred artifact? No! Go fish!
There's where there's way more where that came from. Now that's what I'm talking about! Who needs a crane when we have Ebisu? Hey, we haven't finished our battle yet! Don't tell me you plan on cutting your losses and making a run for it! Nice distraction, Ebisu. Take that, Ager! <laughs> you underestimate my resp you underestimate me, my resplendent diamond! It's no good. I can't even hit him! To the drone. <laughs> Don't give up. There's always a way to turn the battle around. Avast! We be making him angry. He's about to attack. Gangly! I need ye on the rudder. Ebisu, keep on fishing. Makar, begin emergency procedures in case we need to abandon ship. Aita, you keep Ebisu safe. What an annoying little amethyst you are. Take as much treasure as you want, but you'll never distract me enough to win. Yeah, he's not wrong. And this ship can only hold so much. We need a new plan. No, continue with this plan. Continue pilfering the treasure, Abisu. My worthless father's words are correct, and it must be somewhere in this ocean. There must be a treasure down there that he is particularly attached to. Do not desist. Continue fishing. We're not down for the count either. We'll keep fighting with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We won't lose, Abisu. Drag up something that'll knock the wind out of that old giant. Get it, Abisu! I can feel everyone's wishes coming together. Focused on the treasure ship. Sacred artifact of mine, bring me even greater treasure. Battle for me, My voice is cracking. What? This glow, this shine, this is it. The ship I saw in my dreams! No! Not that! Anything but that! Give it back! Gangly! Bring his heart to starboard! Let's give him a taste of what we can do! No! Gangly! Gangly! Danger at 12 o'clock and we eat this one, we're toast! Oh, but I wanted to slack off some more. Oh well, guess I'll show everyone what someone with my experience can do. Ugh. My sacred artifact is meant to be used in the ocean. Aiming at something in the air is hard. It's not just that, though. Your experience and sheer grit of whoever's at the helm is so something else. Captain is quite skilled too. Truly priceless treasures at all. However, I am the ruler of this ocean. You're underestimating the living memories we've gathered, and I can't have that. He's going to come at us with that special attack again. This one looks like it's going to be a doozy. Captain A, huh? I know. Let him try. Fire with all your power, fishy feast! Taking the taking evasive action! What? His <laughs> sacred artifact can get smaller too? Now we got a sacred artifact tug of war! Not to mention both of them draw drawing what they're latched onto! Wait. But oop. wait, but if the lore but if the lore if the lore is 
to anything to go by. Whoever Sacred Artifact is active first is the one that is the one that goes through, right? So who wins? So who wins in this regard? Give it back! Uh, he's pulling on it! What do I do? It's fine, every single If he wants it back, then let him have it! Throw it high into the sky! Y y you want me to throw it? But, uh, but what if something. What if it's something important? Something that could turn this battle. You gotta let everything go eventually! Just like when the two of us left our own treasure ship behind! Trust me, this is our chance to win! Believe in your, believe in your first mate! R right. Well then, I guess it's bye bye to this treasure chest! No! <laughs> That's my cue! Go, Peerless Trident! <laughs> Not bad, but I still have my ocean. Ye be square in the sights of me sacred artifact. Pierce him, oath of the wheeler! <laughs> what is this? Sacred artifact puts you puts humans and giants on equal foot. Sorry, but I'll be putting that cursed rule of yours to rest. Now, the stage is yours, Brandon! Ha! <laughs> Roger that! Finally! <laughs> Rend this connection to the o ocean! <clears throat> Rend this connection to this ocean! Come forth! Boundless tear! Oh, uh, hey guys, I'm falling! Yeah. Uh, oh no! I can't use my sacred artifact right now! And I can't get to my cushion in time either! <clears throat> Here, grab onto this divine knife bow! Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Makara. Yeah. <laughs> I just like saving you, huh? Can't say I dislike the purse, though. I do. <coughs> I just keep saving you. <laughs> Can't say I dislike the purse, though. I take back what I said. This golden ship does indeed shine. Ships are made to cross oceans, which means it is inevitable that there be one that can surpass us. And the ship I saw in my dreams shined as well. It shined brightly enough to be seen in my sleep. I will give you the treasure of this ocean, as I promised. I ask only that you tell me one thing. Why does this ship shine so... Eh. Wow. Eh. Why does this ship si shine so brightly? It's a ramsackle boat made of nothing but wood. Um, eh. A golden ship, huh? You say you saw this ship in your dreams? <laughs> this ship is made to bridge dreams, so that's where it exists. 
I guess that's why you knew of it. <clears throat> Everyone misunderstands what makes this treasure ship golden. It isn't because of gold, jewels, or other treasures. Exactly! What you're seeing, Aegir, is the brilliant sparkle of your own dreams! Uh, uh, his dreams? This ship was originally... Well, this ship was originally meant to carry away nightmares, so it wasn't anything grand. It was basically a garbage truck picked up by the things. <laughs> what? <clears throat> okay. It was basically a garbage truck. It picked up the things you didn't need and then moved on to the next stream. Dante, Rude! Who called a garbage truck? It was filthy. It was only ever made to carry and flush away nightmares. I didn't used to like this dingy boat either. I felt the same way you did, Aegir. Now, though, I understand. I see why it shines. It's because the thoughts of everyone living through hardship, through pain, suffering, and loneliness, this ship is fueled by people's desires to move forward. To leave the pain of today behind. That's what makes it move. Everyone loads their pain and worries onto the ship. And just for a moment, their paths coincide. Such a ship is precious. And that's why it shines. I finally realized that. Huh. I see. So the reason it shines doesn't have it doesn't So the reason it shines doesn't have a physical form. That's why you said it wasn't a treasure ship, even though it shines so brightly. I fell in love with that shine. I suppose I too wanted to go beyond the ocean. Your body! Anger, it's fading into the light. Hmm. I guess he fulfilled, I guess he found the purpose that he wanted. into the ocean <laughs> they were once my ideal they were meant to keep me in this ocean but now that I'm no longer bound to it their role is finished hmm? why are you still here oh, you're leaving aren't you my dear a little child who just can't stay in one place. I was scared you would run off somewhere and leave me behind. That is why I threw away this body to tie you down. I believe that if I became this ocean, you wouldn't be able to leave me. You've always been like that. From the moment I met you, I'm sorry. <clears throat> You've always been like that. From the moment I met you, I'm sorry. I stole away your future. Your... I see. So your memories. They were always right here. Very well then. Very well then. I, Aegir, who welcomes in everything, will drink in your overflowing love, and I will go. I do love that look in your eyes. You really are just a selfish, pushy young boy. Always trying to be brave. This is my final memory. This, my final memory, will fade away too. And so, goodbye, my love. Don't worry. This is not the end. Somewhere beyond this endlessly repeating flood of time, 
we will meet again. I will be I'll be back for you, Ron. And for my beloved daughters. <clears throat> it is your victory, my shining jewels. My treasure is yours to claim. Take it and go. Just remember this. You are mine, and I will pursue what is mine to the ends of the earth. Be assured that we will meet again. Oh, great. Stop letting folks touch those ropes of yours! It sends you crazy! Benton and I managed to hold you down in the end, but it wasn't easy, let me tell you. <sighs> Benton, <laughs> to think you could bind me so tightly, so magnificently. Someone did. A you're all tied up. Someone did a thorough job. <clears throat> More importantly, what happened to all the treasure? Ah, eh, don't worry. All the treasure we won in the battle has been stowed away on board. We got to return. We got to return a lot of it to its rightful owners. On well, the rest should still be enough for a hefty amount of coin. When did you load it up? <clears throat> A lot of this is private property, though, huh? Nice! When did you load up all the stuff, though? I did it while you were all tying Fenrir up after you went wild. Oh! That makes sense. I did come back to the boat for a bit, but Fenrir was so crazy that he took all my attention. Heh, <clears throat> <laughs> we were the ones who brought all the treasure from the sucking ship aboard. <laughs> We're millionaires! Millionaires! Mm, with all this money, the babes are gonna be all over me. <laughs> oh, just look at all of it. We could clean up the entire ocean and the beach with all the coin we'll get from selling it. Ugh, Makara, why you always gotta say such selfless things? You're making me look bad. Oh, that's right! We're gonna get lots of coin! That means I can pay off my debt and buy anything I want! Hmm. Finally, the heady heights of financial liberty. <laughs> oh. Oh. And, and then the US tax and then the US tax system, government tax system kicks in. So I heard you made so I heard you found some treasure. Yeah, we're gonna have to tax that. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm a little worried about you though, Ifrit. Like you say, you're gonna pay off your debt, but I can basically guarantee you're just gonna rack up more right away. <laughs> you're right about that! Debt is terrifying! You be careful too, Brandon. Yeah, I, have, I don't have debt, but good God. <laughs> I don't have money either. <laughs> ah, well, don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, Captain Adia, thanks, thanks so much for helping us out. <clears throat> it ain't like I wanted to end on this adventure years. But ye all seem the type to stick your necks out for others. It's just, if anything happened to you, the rum wouldn't have gone down so easy anymore. <laughs> oh, he cares. <clears throat> Besides, I have you paying me back with the strength of your arms. It'd be a well we're hunting next, and I'd be needing an able-bodied crew, so put your backs into it! 
We're never gonna get an event. We're never gonna get that event, are we? We're never gonna get that event. <laughs> Okay then, let's head back to the harbor. Mission, salvage sunken treasure, complete. I'm not letting anyone off without a closing concert once we're back on land, okay? Yeah! Alright, well, thanks for that welcome, but we gotta go. 